Good evening. I'm Pastor Michael Cook from Trinity Lutheran in Ashland, Ohio. Uh, this evening, I lead you in uh, our suffrages. I would ask you to turn in the Lutheran Book of Worship, the Green Hymn Book, to page 164. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving help. Um, health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Let us pray. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have this day so graciously protected us. We beg you to forgive us all our sins and the wrongs which we have done. By your great mercy, defend us from all the perils and dangers of this night. Into your hands we commend our bodies and souls and all that is ours. Let your holy angels have charge of us that the wicked one have no power over us. Amen. In our daily Bible readings, which are posted each day on, on our uh, congregation's website, we've been reading small portions of the Bible each day. Six days per week, uh, I post the readings. Now, many of you have said how much you appreciate the home devotion with readings, prayers, and a hymn. And it's actually not too difficult for me to do because I take the materials from my own prayer book, For All the Saints is its title. In the two-year cycle of the, the prayer book, uh, you will read all the New Testament and about 70% of the Old Testament. God's Word. God's Word is a lamp to our feet 
and a light to our path. I'll give you a hint. Those words are from a psalm. During the past month, our Old Testament readings have been coming from the book of Numbers, the fourth book of the Old Testament. Now, some might think, oh my goodness, Old Testament, that might be boring. You know, but each time I return to this book, I find the stories and adventures of God's people as they move from the uh, Sinai, Mount Sinai and the Sinai Peninsula over to Israel to be exciting and interesting, and but sometimes very troubling. In Numbers 3, God instructed Moses to set apart the tribe of Levi to be priests for the nation of Israel. The Levites are mine, said God. Then various clans of the Levites had various responsibilities to care for the tent of meeting, the tabernacle, and other clans led worship and others yet moved the tent as they traveled and so on. Numbers 6, 22 to 27 has familiar words for us. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. That is the ironic blessing in Numbers 6. And we hear this blessing every Sunday at the conclusion of worship. God put his name on Israel and he put his name upon us. Numbers chapter 9 now described the movement of the tabernacle. The whole people moved only when the cloud over the tent was taken up. The cloud by day and the fire by night was God's presence among his people. And thus God guided them faithfully during their 40-year journey. Numbers 11, chapter 11, describes the daily manna which fell, fell each a night overnight as their daily bread for their diet. And when the people begged Moses for meat, and Moses asked God a bit timidly um, for meat, the Lord answered, Is the Lord's hand shortened, Moses? Now you shall see whether my word will come true for you or not. And quails, quails blanketed the whole camp for 600,000 people. In Numbers chapter 13, they sent 12 spies to look out over Israel, the land that had been promised to them. And the spies journeyed up into Israel, looked around, and then after a little over six weeks, they returned. Ten of the spies gave a negative report, saying that the people were large and very numerous, and their cities were fortified. But Caleb and Joshua gave a positive report, saying that God would be with his people and give this land to them. That ended up being a big turning point in their 40-year journey. They did not go into Israel at that time, and God was very unhappy, very disappointed with his people. Well, you can see that I'm just giving you the highlights of this and all the other stories in the book of Numbers. And of course, eventually after more years, towards the end of the book, uh, God leads them uh, into the land east of the Dead Sea, which they captured. And then eventually they cross the Jordan River at Jericho into Israel. And Caleb and Joshua 
were among the leaders into the new promised land. I urge you to be a daily Bible reader. I urge you to have a daily prayer life. Yes, Bible stories are interesting. And talking with God each day is essential. A Christian can't imagine a day with no worship of God. God works through his word and through our prayer times to lead us each day on our life's journey. You and your family will grow a very good habit of reading the Bible together and praying together. May it be so. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.